portal, the first thing you want to do is fill out the email like you normally would. So you click New Message in Outlook and you type in who you want to send it to, the subject, and the body. So I'm going to put in my email address so I can send this to myself, and the subject, and the body. So now that I've done that, I've added who I want to send the email to. I could CC or BCC someone on it, but I don't want to right now. Put in the subject and the body. You click those three dots and you click Client Track Portal. Now if this is your first time using the Outlook plugin, it's going to ask you to log in. So when you get this pop-up here, you're just going to log in, you're using your portal credentials. You only have to do it once. Once you log in, every time you go to use the portal plugin, you won't have to log in every time. So once you've logged in, you'll get this pop-up here. So you can see that you can choose whether you want to upload files to the plugin, whether you want to encrypt the email body, and choose whether you'd like it to expire. So if you want to upload any files to the plugin, so you would like to send documents to the client and you would like them encrypted, then you can either click within this box to open up the file explorer on your computer, or you can just drag and drop a file in there. So I'm going to take a file and just drag and drop it right onto that box. Once it's uploaded, it will go down here so you can see the name of the file, the extension of the file, and then you can also delete it. So if you uploaded the wrong one, then you can just delete it. And you can upload as many as you would like. So then down below you have check boxes here. So you can choose whether you'd like to encrypt the email body. So that's this email body. So I will encrypt my email body. And you can also choose whether you'd like to request documents back. So if you don't check that off, that means that when you send this email to the client, they can't upload documents back to you that will be encrypted. Now say for example you're sending a document to a client and you would like them to sign it, scan it, send it back to you, and you would like that to be encrypted and secured, then if you check off request documents back, when they open up the email, they'll have a space to be able to upload a document back to you. So then below that you have show file names. So that's this file name, the file that I uploaded. So do I want the client to be able to see the name of the file? Yes I do, so I'm going to leave that checked. You can choose whether you would like this email to expire. So by default it's set to zero, which means that it will never expire. Say I chose two, that means after two days if the client were to put in the password of the email, they wouldn't be able to access it because the email has been expired. So then below that you have an additional encrypted message. So you can choose whether you would like to just send another message that is encrypted. So say for example I chose not to encrypt my email body, but I do want an encrypted message, I can just add that additional encrypted message right here. And so then lastly, you do have to password protect this email. So you have to put in a password, a confirm password, and a hint. Depending on how close you are with the client, uh, it depends on the password that you set for them. So if you know maybe one of their pet's names, so a dog name, or you know their kids' names, you could use that. If you use their phone numbers, make sure to specify exactly what you put in for their phone number. So if you used area code and no dashes, specify that in the hint. Say area code, no dashes. So I put in my password, I'm just going to put in my hint. Uh, it's not very secure just because I'm sending a test email right now, um, but hopefully the client is able to guess the password based off the hint. So once I filled everything out, I uploaded the documents I would like, I just click encrypt and overwrite email body. So you can see that it's encrypting, once it's finished that, you see it gets added to the email body. So you can see the attached file, so the name of the file, how large it is, I can see that I set my email to never expire, and then I can either view the email before I send it or I can just send it. So if I wanted to view the email I could click view slash download encrypted email, but I'm good to go so I'm just going to send it. So you just send it like you normally would send an Outlook email. So since I did send the email to myself, I have received it. So I'm the client receiving my email. I can see the email here. If I click view slash download encrypted email, I see that I have the hint. So hopefully I'm able to guess the password based off my hint. Put in the password and click unlock. Once I click unlock, I can now see the email that the accountant sent me. So I can see who it was sent by. So the firm, I can see the subject, the body, the attached files. So this is the file that my accountant uploaded to me. If I click it, it downloads right to my computer. And then because my accountant requested documents back, I have this box up here that allows me to upload documents back to my accountant. 
So I'm going to upload a document back. I'm just going to drag and drop a document right into that box. Again, you can either click the box and it will open up the file explorer or you can drag and drop. Once I upload a document, I don't have to do anything after that. It just says file uploaded, you successfully uploaded this file and the accountant will get an email notification letting them know that they have uploaded, that they have received a document from a client. So you can see that now because my client uploaded a document to me through that email I sent them, I got the email notification so I can see that I have a file related to my request from the email subject test, that's the subject of the email I sent the client, and I sent this file request to my client email. So now to find that document, I go into the portal, I go to the virtual filing cabinet, and there will be a folder now that says sent by Outlook. And when I click sent by Outlook, I'll see subfolders with all the email addresses that I've sent to clients. So every email I send creates a new subfolder with that client's email address. So any documents I send them, any documents they send back to me will be stored in that client subfolder in the folder called sent by Outlook. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions regarding the Outlook plugin or the portal, feel free to send me an email at mckenzie at clienttrack with two t's dot ca. Thanks for listening. Bye.